Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with Royals of Games. Today in this video we are going to talk about BenQ monitor. And stay tuned if you want to see what monitor I use and what monitor I recommend. I will say that at the end of the video. Before we start today, I want to tell you that uh, recently I made the super budget gaming PC that can play almost any games and application in 2020 with fast performance and high resolution. So if you're interested in that, go to the link above and watch the video for it. If you want to see my reviews on other monitors, similarly go to the link above and you can see all of them right in one place. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to today's topic. So, uh, many people ask me uh, whether this BenQ monitor is good or not, and whether they should trust it and buy it. I personally wanted to buy this monitor too, but I didn't buy it, and I will tell you the reason why I didn't buy this monitor, and whether it's good for you or not. Okay, so, you can see this BenQ monitor uh, looks okay they use the infinity display which means that when you turn on the monitor you don't see any edges you only see the screen that's very good the stand is fixed that's one of the downside you can't adjust the height you only can tilt it up and down and they're using a uh, logo light and anti-glare and flicker free so uh, what you think is not mm, really bad for your eyes better than other monitors we can see the size is 22 inch but uh, if you want to be precise it's 21.8 they're using an IPS panel and the resolution is 1080 okay so we can see right here that uh, 156 customer reviewed this and the average stars of this monitor was 4.5 when they give it. However, to me, when I went in the store personally to micro center and I wanted to decide which monitor I want to buy, I see that uh, HP monitors and Dell monitors when you see them uh, next to each other, you see their quality of viewing the picture to you is way better than BenQ. You see that BenQ colors are a little bit like uh, yellow. And uh, when you see them next to each other, you can see that uh, HP monitors have way better Way better clarity uh, in viewing the material to you, and the reason is that uh, they're using an IPS panel on BenQ, but in HP monitors they're using a TFT active matrix, which gives you way better clarity when viewing. And this monitor comes with two HDMI ports. And that's it. However, the HP monitor I recommend and I bought comes with an HDMI port, a VGA port, and a display port. Uh, and it looks a little bit better than this, to be honest. And the difference between that, I can show you that one, this BenQ monitor, it, this is fine if you purchase it and you only look at this monitor, if you don't compare it to other monitor, it's fine, you get used to the picture quality. But uh, if you wanted to compare it with other monitors just for a little bit of more, you get a better quality monitor and a better brand, a trusted brand, which has all of these things. Plus. It's not an IPS panel, it's a TFT matrix panel. I can show you the HP. Okay, so... So, 
So the HP monitor is HPP 224, the price is $109. We can see that it's using a TFT active matrix and it has a VJ HDMI and this board and it comes with all of those cables. Again, this one is the infinity the display, meaning there is no edge. I will show you some of the videos of this monitor with the super budget gaming PC I made right after this video, if you want to see. And that's it. If you have any question about both of these monitors, please go ahead and comment below. I will respond as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a good day.